Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer. Today we're playing three games for the Atari 2600. We're playing Ramit, Reactor, and Real Sports Baseball. So our first game today is Ramit. Ramit Good, 1982 for the Atari 2600. And the box art has some kind of metal looking guy shooting Tetris blocks. I don't really know what he's doing. Back of the box, uh, Ramit. One, Ramoid with claustrophobia plus 16 capulating colors. Yay, colors! The Max in Musical Mayhem. Eek, green is going wild. Red is on your right. Blue is at your back. Yipes, yellow! Not yellow. Quick, jam it, slam it, ram it, pop it, put your Ramoid into action and rifle away. Strike a color and it become, or it plays a loony, latronic tune. Bash the bonus bar and you'll win big. Ram it. It's a rainbow race against time, a contest between color and claustrophobia, a medley of musical mayhem. Do you have the rare skill and rapid reflexes it takes to repulse these rainbow raiders? I hate rainbows, the way they crawl up your butt. Uh, play as the max and you might. Instructions enclosed. Eight games including children's versions for one or two players. Designed by Jim Rupp. And if you think Ram It is a riot, try the other great Telsus video games. I'll be sure to do that. A game. Okay, so the game, ram it. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so ram it here. I appear to be moving up and down. Okay. Uh, so I just shoot colors. How exciting. Interesting. Nice color palette there. Oh no, yellow's getting out of control. Pesky yellow. They warned me about yellow. This game gets pretty intense pretty fast. Oh no. Fifty points. Let's try that again. Now that I know I can just hold the button down, it's a little bit easier. Okay, so they don't come back if I actually shoot them all the way back to the edge. Good to know. Concept, but uh, kind of fun and unique. I like it. Thirteen seconds left. Hard to do this in the time limit. Eek. And I'm dead. Boo. All right, let's rate that game. Uh, so graphics for Ramit. Uh, I mean, graphics are simple. They're blocky, but they're colorful. I'll give them a two and a half. Sound is pretty cool. Five. Um, music, other than the music you make by shooting things, there's not really anything there. But I'll give it a three. Story, there is none. Controls. Um, Controls are solid. I'll give it a six. Funness. Um, 
I kind of enjoyed that. Five and a half to hold my attention. Uh, a five. I'd play that again. I kind of wanted to play a little more of it now. Um, but we have to move on. Uh, Ramit is going to get a total of uh, five and a half. That was Ramit. So let's move on to the next game. Okay, let's move on to our next game, which is Reactor, uh, which Reactor came out in 1982, and the box art is uh, just kind of has an explosion, um, but explosions are cool. And let's see, Reactor, your ship is trapped inside the heart of a nuclear reactor. Well, why did I go in there to begin with? A reactor whose core is rapidly approaching meltdown, time is running short, and you must act quickly. As nuclear particles bombard your craft, you fight to blast them and destroy the reactor's control rods. If you succeed, the core will shrink. But if you don't, dot, 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 dangerous nuclear particles are tracking your ship. Use your energy force to hurl them against the reactor's walls, smash them into control rods, destroy them before they destroy you. Keep an eye out on the reactor's core as it expands. You'll have less room to maneuver your ship and little time to stop the meltdown. Next, you must avoid the swirling vortex as it tries to draw your ship into its center and destroy it. Lure enemy particles into one or two bonus chambers. Once captured, it frantically bounces from wall to wall while you track up bonus points. Because, you know, when you're trying to start but stop a nuclear reactor, it's all about the bonus points. Outsmart the enemy with cleverly placed decoy. Just release one and nuclear particles attack the decoy instead of your ship. All right. So this game uh, was released in 1982 for arcades by Gottlieb. And uh, it was designed by Tim Skelly. Um, and apparently it was the first arcade game to credit the developer on the title screen. So that's a pretty cool little bit of history. Uh, it was also then ported the same year to the Atari 2600 by Charlie Heath and published by Parker Brothers. So let's get right into... Yeah. Pretty neat little music thing there. All right. All right, so I'm the little asterisk. That's my decoy ship, right? Oh, what happened? Um, something bad. Probably shouldn't run into the walls, I'm thinking. Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing? I don't get it. I have one button which seems to drop a decoy. die. I think we died. Now let's try that again. I don't know what I'm doing. So that is a decoy and doesn't seem to help me too much. I guess I'm just bouncing particles with my little ship thing. Not touching the walls. Just not just be, randomly running into stuff is not great gameplay. At least on the Atari 2600. I just feel like I don't I don't have enough control over things going on. Um, I could be doing something wrong, of course, but uh, let's rate it. So graphics for reactor, um, two colors, I guess. A uh, two sound. Sound was okay. It's four uh, music. I dig that little uh, jingle. It's pretty pretty cool. Four and a half um, story. Anything with nuclear uh, reactors and stuff is kind of a neat little story. So I'll give it a three there. Controls, uh, one and a half. Mostly because you just don't feel like you're doing much. Um, funness, uh, one and a half. Does it hold my attention? Uh, one. And overall, reactor is going to get a two and a half. Let's move on to the next game. Okay, our final game today is Real Sports Baseball for the Atari 2600, which came out in 1982. And the front of the box just has uh, one of those cool Atari 
paintings of baseball players doing various baseball player type things. Back of the box. Hit a home run, make a spectacular catch, a force or force a triple play. Here's your chance to prove your skills on the baseball diamond, your job to guide your team to victory. Yeah, we know what baseball is. You control the ball players and the strategy play against your friends or the computer and keep an eye out for that fastball. It's a scorcher. Okay. So real sports series for the Atari 2600 came out as a result of... Um, Mattel's uh, had the Intellivision and they had a marketing campaign um, starring George Plimpton that really uh, got on Atari for their outdated sports games, in particular the graphics and how bad they look compared to the Intellivision. So then Atari decided to make new uh, sports games and they called them Real Sports. Um, so this is the first one we're playing in Real Sports Baseball. Um, so apparently this game is buggy and was later re-released in 1989 as Super Baseball with uh, some of the bugs fixed, but I'm sure we'll get to that game eventually. So let's uh, let's play some b-ball. Well, graphically it is much better than uh, was it? Was it just called baseball or home run or something? Uh, so my pitching or hitting? I'm pitching. Ball. Ball. What the heck? I have to throw the ball back to the uh, pitcher as well. Okay. How do I throw anything other than a ball? Why can't I throw a strike? Okay, just threw the ball into the outfield. Go get it. The pitcher has to go get the ball. His uh, fielders are lazy, apparently. Okay. So just pushing the button does nothing. Uh, if I push up in the button, he throws it to uh, the second baseman there. If I push right in the button, he throws it to the first base. So that's just it throwing to the different uh, bases, but... So to throw, I have to throw to the catcher, which is down in the action button. But every time I do that, I get called, it's called a ball. Wait a minute. Is this supposed to be a two-player game? Game number two, three, no. I don't, I don't get it. All right. Well, now we got the crowd noise. Was that just a weird demo mode? What is going on? Nope. <laughs> I have no idea why I can't... Well, that's a fun baseball game. Um, graphics, they're way better than the first game we played, so we'll give them a, a five. Uh, sound, um... Yeah, there's some sound. I mean, you got a little crowd. Oh, you got the crowd noise. I'm going to give it a two. Uh, music, there is none. Story, none. Controls. I'm going to... I mean, you could throw to the different bases. That's pretty cool. Um, I have no idea how you throw a strike, uh, which is annoying. So I'm going to give controls a uh, two. Funness, um, a one. And does it hold my attention? Nope. And overall, real sports baseball is going to get... Uh, one and a half. Um, I'm sure it's better than that, but since I couldn't figure out how to throw a strike, uh, that's what it's getting. Well, that's it. Please like, subscribe, check me out on Patreon for a dollar a month. I do extra videos, and we'll see you next game.